Hello, it's me again. Random breakout challenge. Yeah, I know how this goes. Oh! Werewolf Cookie is sleeping soundly. A little bug is crawling up his face. What should I do? Um, if you blow wind, you actually don't get any buff. I think sweeping will give you a... Yep, a movement speed buff. Of what, 20%? Crosshorn isn't bad honestly, should I just take her? I mean her treasures aren't bad either. Actually why not? I mean I might regret this but eh, whatever. A millennial exploration. Thank you for accepting my request. My request reaching inside the room will be dangerous. Do you need help with anything? I think I should choose all jellies. Cause that's the most reliable buff for all of them. If I'm not wrong, you can get energy, uh, all the jellies, and what was it again? Ah, speed. If I'm not wrong, and destruction points. So it's also kind of RNG. Your choices from Leno trees, like mission. I missed the potion there. Now I can't tell if the music's too loud. But I've got no time to change it out, I guess. I had to uninstall and reinstall this cookie run. Because it wasn't working. It kind of closing when I tried to open the app, so. It's weird, it never happens with anything else but cookie run, so I don't understand why either. Mommy, at least it's working now, I guess. If you ask me personally, I quite like City of the Millennial Tree and Breakouts. I like the map layouts, you know, very dynamic. Very dynamic. It's fun to play, you know. We also had this random breaker, I think a few months ago. But I mean... The mission this time is still the same. Uh, but I think your first, third and fifth and seventh runs, Lenny Cookie will appear and he will ask you to choose a buff. Occasionally, um, a special event might happen and Duck and Chantress Cookie Appears instead of Rhino Cookie. Hey! Okay, anyways. And then what happens is that if I'm not wrong, you get a 10% all points buff as well as energy reduction. If I'm not wrong. But yes, yeah, you can see random breakout. As luck based as ever. Number 20. Oh, where should we roll? Let's look for a nice buff next round, I guess. You know, they took out the buff with. Oh, should I take this? I ah, sure. Anyways, so you know, they took out the buff where, like, you had 5%, where you had a 5% chance of getting a uh, blast jelly. Just kind of sad to be honest. I mean, I think those honestly, in my opinion, they made it very fun, right? Okay. Hey, I missed that. Oh my god, stop. Stop. I keep on missing the pearl treasure at the bottom. This isn't fair, you know. Okay. Yeah. Okay.
I mean, rainbow bear jelly buff, I guess it's not bad one since you have so many here, but at the same time, it's not super reliable, I guess. If that's what I want to say. Bonus time, PI, PI, and there we go. Let's go to Outward Path. This one has more points. And I'm not sure if they took out the buff which had the one where the more bear jellies collect, the more points you have. But possibly they did, because I looked at the top ranking leaderboards and I haven't actually seen anybody with that buff yet. I've seen people with the plus 1 million points for a giant bear jellies buff. But none of the ones with bear jellies. I suspect they just took all this out. Maybe it was too, too overpowered, I guess. Because one of those buffs, you know, it's like. The moment you get them, it's just basically guaranteed. A guaranteed win. Alright, let's try again. Or not, well, let's look for good buff this time, I guess. Oh, yes! Plus 20,000 points for all bad trades. Alright, this one's a good one. That's great. Oh, it looks for energy. Yeah! Now that's what I'm talking about. A good buff. Oh, it's not bad, Jerry. Yellow ones, especially. That's lucky. Generally speaking, I see a lot more people actually online. They go for destruction points instead of all jellies which makes sense I guess since you get about plus 100k points for each obstacle destruction so I mean and you can see you know the terrain here is pretty suitable for that all right bonus time there we go But at least this thing is bonus time, so I would tell you like I think the most boring random breakout map was probably the sense of yoga cow one. Especially because they had this thing where they kept on giving you buffs to bonus time, which is like you know plus 50%, plus 20% points. But then there wasn't any actual bonus times in yoga cow at all. So it's just basically a useless buff. So like, people like entirely reset your runs around that sometimes. Mostly just a hardcore players. Music here isn't bad, honestly. Like, no matter whether it's then or now, you know, the sound design team has always been doing fantastic. One and two, there we go. Revival. Oh, wow, surprisingly, there is a good amount of pink bad jellies here. So I guess this treasure can work out too, huh? Alright, let's go! Okay, get ready. One, two. We got revive with 20 energy. 
Oh, we are ninth place. Yeah. Now well, that's what I'm talking about. All right, next combi. <sighs> Ten percent faster movement speed. Yeah, man. Like, I'm not gonna question it. You know. You give me an epic buff, I'll take the epic buff. I'm not taking my chances. Hey! You was laggy then, huh? Also, I didn't know I had... Oh, what's her name? Blueberry Pie? Yeah. Blueberry Pie's costume. She did get buff, I think, last year. I think exactly about you ago, surprisingly. With the 5th anniversary update. This reminds me, honestly. 5th anniversary update is so much better than this. Definitely. Ha hey, wait, what? What was that? Why didn't I? Hey. Okay, whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll question that later. Many coins here. You know there's that one treasure, I think, pop pop photo cards. I think that treasure will be good here, you know. There's a lot of coins to spend. So you get a lot of, well, points here too, I guess. Just totally amazing commentary here. Anyways. Reminds me. I mean, I'm not the sort to get albums and whatever of like idols, but I know a bunch of people who do. Mostly Korean. If I'm not wrong, I have this friend who likes Itzy, which is this girl band, and she loves buying their albums. So every time she meets me, she's always talking about them. Then she tells me how she has she has to save up money, get more Z merch. But at the same time, well, she wants to go to this concert that they are holding in my country next year. Or she keeps on spending money on albums, so she's afraid that she won't be able to afford it. It's <laughs> kind of scary, you know. The amount of dedication these people have for their idols. But I mean, it's not too bad, I guess. You know. At least they aren't like... How do you call it? A bad influence or whatever. You know there's that sort of thing in like, America? I mean, apparently I heard they have like kids there. Who... Idolize... Literal murderers. Which is a bit... Concerning, I tell you what, but no, not my country, not my problem. One, two, three, four. Oh, oh, last jump. Alright. Hey, there we go. One, two, three. number five. It's actually not bad. I mean, I did miss. Um, a fall there, you know. I I still call that I still call that kind of rigged. I should not have fallen through the floor, the floor there. The the spring didn't work. But all right, man. Next combi. This is shaping up to be surprisingly good, honestly. Um, Licorice, but his treasures are kind of meh. All right. Her. This isn't a bad buff. But I'm in this area where there's a lot of coins and um um ah oh, let's take it then. No, I mean a red buff is as good as any. Uh oh um destruction points. Rainbow bear jelly is a relatively more rare to come across in this area, so I'd rather take my chance of destruction points. Mm. 
you know, this makes me wish I had like Herb's costume. The the super epic one. That looks like what do you call those flower like what do you call those plants again? In the the, the bug eating ones. Fly traps, I think. Fly traps, if I'm not wrong. No, I, I really like that design. It came out last year. And I didn't pull at the time, so I didn't manage to get it yet. But I do hope I get it some one of these days, you know? It's very cool because they also changed like the skill of the pet. To have like different colored flowers. When you have a super epic skin, which is I think kinda rare, I guess. I mean if you compare it to another super epic skin like maybe Elmon Cookies. Then yeah, it's far better. It's leaks better. I just like that little detail, you know. In the little plant skill animations. Alright. One, two. Here we go. Yeah, good timing. You know my last round of playing this, I got super bad luck, as in like, I was converging on number 25 basically all the time. Yeah! The leg! Oh my god. Anyways. One. Ah. I didn't do the last jump. Eh, should be fine. My last random breakup was really really bad. I managed to clutch in with a fire spirit at the end. Um You know what? I'm okay man. Yeah I don't I don't need it. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. You see? If I had taken Ginger Graves buff right there, I would have missed out on this blue buff here. No fun, no fun. Rebel Hookie is quite good. Even if he isn't in the trophy race meta anymore. Because he covers a lot of speed, and also because of his skill, his magic candy. So if you come across spots where you aren't able to collect all of the jellies in one go, you can just use his magic candy to collect them. It's pretty convenient if you ask me. I mean, there's a reason why he's over 90% pick rate and random breakout. I mean, it's not that uncommon, I guess. But quiz that can make, you know, long distances are more popular. Even if they don't really typically give much points, it's more likely to be chosen in random breakout. Like, one example, you know, probably Sugar Grass. If I'm not wrong, the last time I saw her, she was at about 90% pick rate, which is very rare for a cookie that, you know, came out last year. And has not been in meta for like months now. So, rubber pets are honestly quite important here. There we go. Yeah. Oh my god, I thought my game crashed there for a second. Oh jeez. What is scary? It's lagging so bad. Ah. You know what? Never mind. I I, I don't wish to endure that lag again, so let's just take what we have. There we go. Yep, I got about 200k points from just this strong obstacle, like so pretty handy if you ask me. 
better than the last jump here. One, two, three. Oh! Oh wow, I made sure I could wait still again. Alright. One, two. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Plus plus, and there we go. 641. This is going better than I anticipated. But well, based on my luck so far, maybe I wouldn't put it past like... Oh, you again? I mean, mate, you know... I mean, it's fine, yeah. Come on, man. Into this... 48,000 points. Uh, worth it or not? Mm. Worth it or not? Fairy is basically useless, but... This buff... I would have preferred those yellow badge at least. There's a lot of this in the last stage. Hmm. I could also choose red bean. Ah, oh, okay. Let's take it. Alright. All badge at least or all jellies? Hmm. All jellies. I'll go for the safer option. Oh. Oh yeah, that's what I need. Okay, um, giant mode. Random epic buff. Please. Oh, come on. What is this? Hey, why is there no description for this arrow here? No, whatever. Yeah. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yep, they are sizable amount of. Hey! Oops, I didn't see that. As I was saying, there are sizable amount of rainbow bear jellies here, so. I guess that rainbow buff from just now should be not bad, honestly. And this cookie herself isn't bad. Although, uh, I'm. Mean, if the lag continues being this way, I'm. Not sure if things are actually gonna go that well. Alright. Come on. Oh my fingers are working over time right now. Like 45 hour kinda of overtime. Yeah, I missed it! You know what, never mind, just 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 continue. And all we have to focus on doing now is it's not getting hit. We shall not fall to the likes of this mighty lag. I will never let the lag come for me. <laughs> Witness my might. I am invulnerable. Alright. Okay, I have to be careful here. Oh. Alright, I got past the tricky part. You know, I always can't get the pain that part. I can't, I can't like... How do you call it? Sense the distance properly. And I always hit into that little laser kind of thing. Alright. There we go. Eh, not bad. <laughs> Ninth combi. This isn't bad either, but... The treasures are a bit meh.
You know what? Like, but eight compute. This had to be in like the first or second. We've taken it, but it's too late to do this now, isn't it? Oh, legendary buff. My friend. <gasps> Alright. Just no hesitation now. Just sticking. My dear friend, little. White Lotus. Yeah. Wait a moment. This guy's name is White Lotus, right? Right? Or Dragon Lotus? Oh no. I'm going through a crisis right now. How could I call myself a true fan of the franchise without remembering this guy's name? Uh, I don't remember their name. Or should we White Lotus? Hopefully. I miss the spring now. There we go, we'll be careful with this part. Oh my god, the man. There we go. One, two, one, two, and use the spring. Destroy those obstacles, and there we go. You know, I wonder if, like, I'm gonna like, fall down the stairs and break my leg tomorrow. You know what? Because this luck is too good. Like, you honestly can't trust things like this. Whenever something good happens, a disaster is bound to follow after. Like calamity. You can't trust it. You know, it's like that saying, uh, don't get complacent or you get eaten by giant spiders in your sleep. I think. You know, you always gotta keep an eye out for those nasty little things crawling on walls that give you good luck. Because the moment you get good luck, disaster will call. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, though, as long as I don't make like, a deficit when playing random breakout. I'm honestly pretty happy already. Honestly, this reminds me of uh, this one study, was it? Survey I found once. Where basically they went to go and judge the reactions of, you know, first place, second place, and third place winners in a competition. And what ended up happening is basically. I found out on average the third place was happier than second place. Because second place was always like, what if? What if I could get first place? Just kinda interesting. Thing. Yeah, no, something bad is gonna happen. Definitely. Okay, this isn't bad. This goes well with my 20,000 bear jelly buff. I'm very suspicious, honestly. My luck should not be this good. Like, I'm actually not kidding. It's, it's too good. It's too good. I missed that man like the jelly. I have to go back there and get it again. You know the suspense you just get from like hearing all this skill music play? It's kinda cool honestly. I still missed that game, but alright. 
is what it is. Let's just focus on making it out of here alive first and we'll talk about getting those points. You know it's like because this music just builds up to a climax and then just before like the big reveal where he starts like showing off his powers he just like just everything just goes silently like in like waiting in tense anticipation for the last blow kind of reminds me of that saying you know the the Air was so silent. You could hear a pin drop. Yeah. Kind of like one of those things. Oh. What? Huh? Wait. Oh. Did I get a red buff there? Give me a free fall. Alright, I... Okay. I don't remember that, but I should have. I'm pretty sure Logan's pet doesn't just give me like free pulls out from holes, you know? There we go. There we go, and... Slide it. Gosh, the lag is really get, hitting it hard right now. The screen is just stuttering every few seconds or so. Come on, man. Oh. What? Oh. No, yes. Please, please, please. Oh, yes. Oh my god. Thank god for you, Jelly Bean Treasure. I will not forget your sacrifice. There we go. One, two. Yeah! Honestly, I don't think there's a need to try again. Wow, this, this run is so good. I really... I... I'm kind of scared. I'll be honest with you. Oh, dinosaur! Um... Dinosaur? I mean, not too bad. But at the same time... Alright, Dr. Bones. Kinda risky play there, but it is what it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, and five. Gingerbread has come back from the day. Oh my god. You know what, at this point it's like... Uh, never mind. Getting hit once or twice actually isn't unexpected to be honest. Can you revive a zombie? If it's already dead? I mean, interesting question honestly. How do you revive something if it is already dead? Is that even counted as reviving? Or just like reanimation? Of course, you know, it's not a living thing in the first place. Yeah! Okay. Ay! Never mind. I'll just try again later. And Muscle Cookie. You did think he was the last guy. Like, have a heart attack or something. Because he exercises so much. But no, he's there. Maybe he overstrained his muscles or something from blocking out. Hmm. I should be able to get out. 300? Yeah, 300 points this one. 
Honestly, with the way the run's been going so far, I'm kinda curious as to how I should design my thumbnail. You know? Slide down there. Get the spare jellies. And one, two. Alright. It's need to jump at this area. The giant jelly is enough to collect all the rainbow bear jellies. And I feel like I've said the word jelly so many times, it's starting to lose all meaning. Like, I don't even eat jelly beans, man. I mean, yes, well, I mean, I haven't seen the jelly bean in ages. But yeah. Alright, this is what I'm talking about. I guess I'll just try again. For the funs of it. There we go. 469. And first place. Yeah, I haven't gotten first place in like forever, man. Now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, I guess that's it for today, huh? Well, yeah. See ya.